I'm Camilla from Bath Astronomers and today I'm going to show you how to get your hands on a free bit of astronomy kit on loan to help you get started. Bath Astronomers are a friendly bunch of astronomers found in and around the city of Bath, which if you didn't know is where the planet Uranus was discovered by William and Caroline Herschel in 1781. It's a group you can come along and find out everything you need to do with astronomy, there are regular talks, and of course, a lot of experience and equipment for you to try out too. I've got my hands on one of Bath Astronomers' two free loan telescopes. It's free for anyone to borrow to help you find out if astronomy is for you. You don't need any experience to get started. Everything is explained inside the box, and I'm told there's even a handy app so you can control the telescope from your phone. Okay, we've switched to you just so we can have a close-up look at this device. We have our tripod, which of course you can customise to your height. The mount, which I'm going to come back to later. We have our optical tube. It has a dovetail mount and a tension dial. You can also play with the tension here so that it doesn't um, become unbalanced and it stays in place whilst you're sitting up. You obviously want to remember to take off the lens cap when you're ready. Uh, around the back end of the tube here, we have the eyepiece. There is a tension dial here. You can adjust the angle uh, or the place that it points to so that perhaps it can be more comfortable based on your height and where you are viewing from. We have our scope. So this scope is gonna show a sort of wider field of view, a wider image of what you're aiming at with the optical tube. This will seem inverted. This won't be. So this is what you're going to use to help you try to find roughly where you should be and centre your target. And then this is going to show the magnification that you would like. OK, and there are different dials here that will raise it and shift it left and right. You might find it easiest to um, align it on something you can see in the daytime, something at the end of your garden, for example, not the sun. Uh, and then you'll know that these two items are aligned. It's a good idea to do that before you go out in the dark. Um, we have got just below the uh, mount here is the accessory tray. That's a really good place to store all your gubbins, uh, lens caps, different lens pieces. It's a great place to also rest the battery pack. So that brings me to the mount. This is a motorized mount or a go-to. OK, it will actually help point the telescope where you would like it to go. And um, there is a battery pack in there. It's really fiddly to get things in and out. So, <laughs> case in point, there we go. Uh, Bath astronomers have kindly supplied uh, this portable battery case, which plugs into the only jack of its size on the mount. Uh, it will take eight AA batteries, uh, which you will need to supply. There is a power switch on the back of this, which you'll need to switch to on. And there is a switch here. And when you do that, it's gonna start sending out its own little Wi-Fi signal. It will be called something like Bath Astronomers and the name of the telescope. This one is called Celia. So I've got the SynScan app on my phone now. That's S-Y-N-S-C-A-N. -S it's free, available on Apple and Android products. Um, just as I arrive, you can see how I might control the telescope. I've got the option to align it. Uh, and then there are various tools that I can take through the night sky uh, once I've aligned it, which is really, really lovely. We obviously want to go ahead and connect. To do that, I actually have to come off the Wi-Fi that I have uh, already connected to. And I need to find the Wi-Fi that this is sending out. Uh, here we go, Cecilia, Bath Astronomers. Okay, it might complain it doesn't have any internet, but you don't need any internet. Okay, so now my devices are connected. So uh, click connect. There we go. It's connected. It was that simple. Now, it might be quite tempting to start pressing buttons and seeing what will happen. Uh, this number in the center, I've currently got five, will um, sort of impact how quickly it will move based on me tapping these buttons. And I can reduce that or increase it using the arrows on the far left and right. <laughs> so I've just increased the number for the purposes of the video to really swing that round, okay? 
So that's how you're going to move it this evening when you give it a try. I really recommend setting this up in the daytime and having a play with it before you go outside with it, okay? Now, tonight or whenever it is you choose um, to go observing, fingers crossed for the weather, you might want to align it. You could obviously just point it at anything you see and point it at that, but you might wish to align it. This can be quite tricky. You'll want uh, another sort of sky map app, um, Stellarium, for example. There are lots of free ones available. The kind of app where you can look around and see uh, and it will tell you what stars are in the night sky. The reason you want to know where they are and what they're named is because one of the methods for aligning is to point at two very bright stars. So it actually comes up with a list of stars you can point it at and you will manually point at it. So um, it also includes the planets as well based on your time and date. So we've got Venus, Jupiter, Vega, Capella. If I could spot where any of those are tonight and manually put this to point at that item and then I would choose a second bright object in the night sky and again manually point the telescope at that. By manually I don't mean with my hands, um, the option comes up when you align to use uh, the arrows to move it around. So that's what I mean by manually, okay? So as you go through the alignment process, you choose a star, you put the telescope to point at the star or the planet, you choose a second one, you do the same. And then from there, it should be able to calculate where everything else is in the night sky, which is really, really handy. And from there, you can then choose specific stars uh, and you can choose specific deep sky objects, such as Messier's objects, okay? And there's even a nice little tour of the solar system it can take you through as well. So if you're new to astronomy, and you don't want to shell out for an awful lot of kit that you're not too sure um, you might use, this is a really great way to give it a try and see if it's for you. Another thing you can do is come along to any of our free uh, open or public observing sessions. In the autumn, winter and early spring, there are about at least one a month, if not more, in and around Bath. And again, you can either use some of the telescopes that the Bath astronomers will bring or you can bring your own. Another great source is to simply email Bath astronomers with any questions about any kit that you've received uh, and bring it along to a meeting to see if you can get some help with it. Overall though, it's a great bit of kit. It's free and well worth being a member of Bath astronomers to have access to.